Jeff Vapors with Bath with you. I'm Homie. I'm Skeletor. I'm Ruff. And we have Jonathan from Gentleman's Draw with us. How are you, Jonathan? I'm good. Welcome Thank back. You. We got another flavor of yours. We have Peach Cobbler. And now, as you know from the last video, I have a menu. Yay! Peach Cobbler is a mix of peach, cinnamon, brown sugar, and cream. I'll tell you what, we've noticed that your, uh, your uh, descriptions and the flavor profiles is very short, simple, to the point. Um, we see the name of the juice, it's very self-explanatory. Uh, why don't you give us a, a little insight on why you did it that way? Um, I wanted to simplify the brand essentially uh, when I when I initially launched it was uh, it was a, a completely different um, concept I, I, I overthought and overcomplicated the whole entire uh, the whole entire brand and from going into vape shops talking to, to owners talking to customers I, I came with, up with the conclusion that uh, that simplifying everything was going to be the key to success um, having the, the descriptive name so that it just made it as easy as possible for people to know what the flavor profile was really going to be, right. or what I was aiming for with it. Um, it just just seems like it's the way to go. So excellent, excellent, uh, homie. What do you think? I like it. It's smooth, a great flavor. And the inhale, the exhale, you taste all the flavor. There's no all these flavors have a great aftertaste, and they're so nice and smooth and nice on the throat. I enjoy the vape. I've been vaping since we got your line. I've been vaping on back and forth on different ones, and I found out the ones I have vaped on for a long time are an all-day vape. Like what we're gonna come up to in a little bit is your menthol. Mm -hmm. Great. Like this one, you taste the peach. You taste everything that you want to taste, and it, as you describe on the bottle, as what you say is what it tastes like. Mm -hmm. And that's what I like. You want to see. You read. Okay, that's that's what you want to taste. Mm -hmm. Like some foods, you go and you buy it says it tastes like this, but when you taste it, it has nothing to do with the flavor. Mm -hmm. And it's way did a good job on this. The clouds production is great on this one as before. On clouds, I give it a nine and a half. Okay. Flavor, I gotta say, I give it a ten. Right. It's great. Another it's there. It's right. the flavor is there. What I want. Okay. It's satisfying. Excellent. Excellent. Ruff, what do you think, Buff? Um, I do get a lot of flavor. I, I love the peach aftertaste because even after it is exhaling out of your nose, you get that peach flavor. It's really good. Um, cloud wise, I'm gonna give it a nine. Taste wise, I'm going to give it a nine and a half. I do enjoy the taste, the flavor. It's just a nine and a half for me. Okay, all right. Well, I tell you what, I I think that in the world of bakeries and cobblers and custards and cupcakes and this, that, and the other, that we have something that's coming out on top when it comes to the bakery side. We just did fruity cereal. That's the best cereal bake that we've ever done. This is one of the best bakeries that I've ever had the pleasure of trying out. Yes, mm -hmm. uh, I agree with that one. The, uh, because it, it, it honestly gives me that old-fashioned peach cobbler feel, you know, and especially and it uh -huh. mixes great with coffee. Mm -hmm. I have a lot of vapes that I like to do in the morning, but then, you know, I drink coffee all day, every day by the pot. And so I like to have a lot of those sweet but savory type vapes. And the peach cobbler, when it comes to the, the cloud production, I give it an eight and a half. Um, is this a 70-30 blend? 70-30, yes. Okay, so this is definitely uh, one of the lower on your scale when it comes to the VG, and it, it shows it. But with the flavor on my WTF scale, I'm giving it a nine and a half. It, uh, it's absolutely epic. I think that if anything, it could use a little more of the cream after. Uh, I'm not sure if that would, like you said, with the fruity cereal, if it would come out more with steeping. Um, do you pre-steep this juice? Yes. Okay, yeah. so how, how long-ish? This one is steeped. This one steeps yes. steeped? Okay. Okay, so uh, if I were to steep it for, say, about another week, it would probably be a little too strong, you think? Or uh, you think it no, be? it would actually probably mellow it out a little bit. Okay. Which, in turn, could bring out the cream. Mm -hmm. I'll have to try that out. I'll have to try that out. But definitely, uh, this one's got a great... Um, a great WTF scale on production and on flavor for both, uh, yes. all three of us, as you see. Um, go to gentlemansdraw.com yes. to yeah. order your bottles. We've done fruity cereal, which will be there midweek. We just did peach cobbler; it's there now. Yes, that is ready to be ordered. That's right. I want to spend, uh, send a special shout out to Evolution Vapes. I'm horking on top of the uh, skeleton, and I've got the bullet, which is coming up for review here pretty soon. And find us on Facebook. 
WTF Vapors is our name, making you say what the fuck is our game. Since 2015. That's right. A lot more coming. That's right. YouTube, you're already here. Go click that box. That little red squiggly line. It's red, about the game big. Well, it all box. depends on how big the, the yeah. camera is. Yeah. There, yeah. Or the I don't know what they're watching on. What you're watching on. Okay, so Instagram, Skeletor Vapes, homie underscore vape underscore life. Rough underscore vapes 3182. And? Uh, at Gentleman's Draw. At Gentleman's Draw. And with that being said, we are going to leave you with a peachy goodbye. Wow.